three different aircraft, three different roles, three very different crew. What unites them is that they use the same multi-featured navigational system that enhances their ability to fly diverse and demanding missions. Honeywell Sentinel offers maps, charts, traffic and weather information and specialist role capabilities. Delivering unparalleled spatial awareness for maximum airborne safety. In this film, we'll hear how three very different users rate Sentinel's flexibility and visit the Honeywell Flight Test Centre where innovation never stands still. In its basic specification, Sentinel adds to the navigational information available from the usual aircraft instruments, making it easier to fly accurately and safely. Vectored and raster maps and charts are easily accessed via an intuitive menu and a clear track line shows the heading. The system can also be updated and customised to suit individual needs. When I go, say, from England up to Scandinavia, I have the Jeppesen database inbuilt and then it goes all the way from England through seven countries up to Sweden. They even have the, uh, the sea charts, which is now installed in the software, so I can follow the, uh, the sea lanes if I like. Sentinel also keeps an eye on the weather for you. The storm scope is good because you can see within 200 miles where the, the bad weather is, so you could just avoid it that way. And when you come close to it, it comes up automatic on the map. Echo Bravo Lima, descending for landing in Pub, just 200 yards uh, east of threshold 2A at uh, Ockham. I like it because it's easy for me to use. As I'm not a computer guy, I'm a private pilot, I don't fly more than about 100 hours a year. This is just about what I can master and it works very well that way. For top-end executive travel, Sentinel offers many additional features. In this EC-155, the system is coupled to the FMS for direct flight plan upload. There's also an additional passenger screen in the rear. This too is coupled to the FMS. The Honeywell design team worked closely with the pilots to create a bespoke system. OK, the cabin is Sentinel. The face screens are on. Seatbelt sign. In the back, the passengers generally don't want to interact with the map so much. So we've been looking to find a suitable zoom scale that they can use, just look at it like a television. Ultimately, we came up with a, a scale that was about 40 miles from one side of the display to the other. This, we thought, was ideal for passengers in a helicopter, travelling at about 2,000 feet, and it works very well. Ready to taxi, not bad, too bad to see. Passengers are extremely happy with it now. We think we've got it just right. When a job comes in for this emergency service, a one-line grid reference can be the only direction. Sentinel quickly plots the course to any grid reference and with the right database loaded, can even find streets and addresses. It shows fixed obstacles such as hills, electricity pylons and radio masts. Airborne threats are comprehensively dealt with by Sentinel's integration with the traffic awareness system. It'll warn you of the location of an aircraft relative to you, whether it's higher or lower, and you can get an idea of its closing speed as well. And then when it becomes within collision range almost, the map will disappear off the screen, the screen will go black and you'll see nothing but your position and the position of the other aircraft. And you can then avoid it as necessary. Patient has blurred vision uh, from the head injury. Uh, police are on scene and have been advised of your arrival. 
Once the patient has been reached and is on board, the crew can dial up the appropriate hospital from the system's preloaded user database. It just makes my job easier. There's often a lot to be said on board by the crew, the paramedics, the doctors, about the condition of the patient, what they're going to do with him or her when we get there, where we're going to go, why that hospital, not another, etc. So if you've got this technology there doing the nav for you, it releases extra brain power to do other things, so it's a huge advantage. We get there faster, safer and more effectively. Whatever the role, flexibility and adaptability are key to the Sentinel system and Honeywell is constantly developing new features at its flight test facilities across the globe. Twenty miles north of Seattle, this Honeywell base offers much more than exciting topography to put Sentinel through its paces. This area here, you've got Boeing that operates out of several airfields. You have civilian traffic here, helicopters, airplanes, seaplanes, commercial traffic and military traffic also. So there's that and there's also the weather out here is very dynamic. You get a wide cross section of from the good to the bad to the extremely ugly out here. Features on trial today include a custom exclusion zone area, on-screen checklist, and local airfield plate. Okay, we are cleared and coming up and forward. We've got a lot of people here with a, a great deal of knowledge and expertise. They're very good at getting out there with the customers, finding out what the customers want, and they put a lot of energy and time into developing new things. And we're going right over this peak here. I'll just fly up a little bit close to it. And the tops of those should be red. Yeah. That guy's at 2,395. Back at base, the crew can download a flight summary for further analysis, including 3D displays via Google Maps. Yet another feature that makes this system the best available. Multiple functions, multiple features, highly adaptable today and in the future. Honeywell Sentinel, the ultimate helicopter navigation system.